Hey y'all, Lily here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I go about setting up my print and cut feature for print and cut in Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will do my best to assist you in the best way possible. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so here I am in Silhouette Studio. What we're going to do is click on the first tab, the open page setup. All right, and what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the media size. Here I'm going to click 8.5 by 11 letter size paper. This is as large as my Epson printer lets me print. So let's go ahead and select that and see what happens. All right, so we can see here that it turned it into an 8.5 by 11 letter sheet. It's no longer the 12 by 12 cutting mat size. All right, so this is where you would be printing your image. What I like to always do is turn on print cut border. We can see here it turned on the border where if the image goes anywhere outside of this border, it will cut off the image. So this is very important. All right, and next we have to turn on the registration marks. This is what our Cameo is going to recognize. So here we went to registration marks and turned on. So these three little marks is what's very important. So whenever we send it to our Cameo, it reads it. So if you were to mess with the insert right here, you can make it as small or as large as you like. I always like to put it all the way down to get the biggest image possible. All right, so if we were to mess with the length one, we can see here where it extends the registration mark. So here you can also adjust it to whatever you'd like. And then the next one is the thickness. It makes the registration marks a little bit thicker. I find that the thicker they are, the easier the Cameo is to recognize them. All right, so here it looks as if we are all done. The registration marks are good to go. The print cut border is also apparent, so that way we know nothing is going to be cut off. So what I like to do is I make sure to double check in the print option to see if everything is ready to go. I don't like to print anything too close to the edges because I find that my Cameo has a hard time reading it if anything is printed too close to right here. From this perspective, everything looks like it's good to go. I'm ready to print. So I'm going to go ahead and select print. And then when the print and then the print preview comes out and if we could see here there is no bottom corner registration mark so if i were to print my design the cameo wouldn't recognize it so what i like to do is i like to head over to the registration marks tab to the page setup tab and then on the height i just adjusted a few notches down so this way whenever we're going to go to the print preview again we're going to see that now it's all good to go we can see here all the registration marks are correct so if we were to print out our designs everything would print out correctly and then we can proceed and then once you have your design already you would just hit print and then select whatever options on your printer what i like to do is i always like to make sure that my media type is always photo paper matte this just seems to be the best option for my printer it prints out slower and it doesn't leave any like lines or anything like that alrighty y'all I do hope this video was helpful I do appreciate all the support that I am receiving don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for future videos once again thank you so much I do have TikTok, Facebook Instagram and Twitter I would greatly appreciate the support over there thank you so much for watching